Hello, responsible drivers. This is Silent Signs from I Dream of Indie. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss any of our reviews or previews. Today, we are taking a look at Taxi Chaos, a game that comes to us from Lion Castle Entertainment and Team 6 Game Studios. I played this one on the PlayStation 4. It is also going to be available on Xbox One and Nintendo Switch as of February 23rd, 2021. The price of Taxi Chaos appears appears to be a little bit all over the road right now and differs from platform to platform. Nintendo has it up at $34.95. The Microsoft Store has it as a regular price of $29.99 with a pre-order sale going on right now, though I'm not sure if it will still be going on by the time we post this review. And also at the time of this review, Sony has not put the store page up because Sony. But of course, none of that matters if you don't know what this game is. So without further ado, let's shift gears and jump into that. Taxi Chaos is a spiritual successor to Crazy Taxi. You can play as one of two taxi drivers, Vinny and Cleo, in New Yellow City, which is, of course, a nod to New York City. If you've never played a Crazy Taxi game before and you have no idea what I'm talking about, essentially what you do is drive around as one of these two taxi drivers, pick up passengers and deliver them to their requested destination in the city. In order to pick up a passenger, you drive into their little illuminated circle and then hit the brakes so that they can jump in. And you can tell how far away their destination is by a little indicator over their heads. It looks like a little stopwatch and it will be either red, yellow, or green, depending on the distance. As you head to your destination, you do have a red arrow indicator that will tell you which direction to head or at least a general idea of which way to go. You can kind of choose which side streets and things like that. There are shortcuts to find along the way. As you get closer to your destination, the arrow does turn green and eventually you will clearly see your destination because it is illuminated in green. Your shift is timed, so you do need to be efficient with your driving and take as many passengers as possible to their destinations before the time runs out to get a good score. In addition to arcade mode, which I pretty much just described to you, there is also a free roam where you can kind of get to know the city and drive around and you don't have the time limit to worry about. And there's also a pro mode if you want to really challenge yourself where they eliminate the assistance of the indicator to tell you where to go. So you are on your own figuring out where to drop off these passengers. And boy, I was not ready to try that mode. While you do only have the two drivers to choose from, you can earn new vehicles and vehicles have different statistics such as better speed or acceleration or braking. And you can kind of customize your gameplay that way. If you are feeling particularly competitive, in addition to trophies or achievements, there is also a leaderboard. Since I feel like I've already talked a lot about how Taxi Chaos is similar to Crazy Taxi, let's talk a little bit about the ways in which they differ. For one thing, you do have the option to jump with your taxi, which is quite exciting. Instead of having to narrowly dodge traffic, you can actually just jump right over it. Taxi Chaos also has collectible items as well as special customers that you can pick up. And by picking up these customers, you can advance a little bit of a storyline for them. Being a huge fan of Crazy Taxi, it's difficult to look at Taxi Chaos without comparing it, but I'm going to try to do my best to be objective and just look at the game at hand. Taxi Chaos is pretty fun. My biggest complaint with Taxi Chaos was that the scoring system felt a little unbalanced to me. Sometimes I feel like I had a great run, I couldn't have done anything better, and I only got two stars. Sometimes I would have a questionable at best run, I would miss turns, and I would still get four stars, and I just couldn't quite get my act together with this. But that said, it absolutely does still have that one more time factor where you just want to do one more run and see if you can get that higher score, unlock the next car, find those collectibles, and maybe even, dare I say, take on pro mode. I do also want to point out that we received a huge list of day one patches to the game, including a huge list of new features as well as improvements and fixes, one of which appears to be a rebalancing of the scoring system. So this may be addressed by the time that you're playing the game. We also have to talk about the elephant in the room that is the soundtrack. There's no offspring on this game. 
obviously. I don't even think the new Crazy Taxi games can have the offspring anymore. The version of the game that I played had some very repetitive tracks that were kind of almost like if electronica and elevator music had a baby. And from what I understand, that's also being patched with some more rock songs in the day one patch that I talked about earlier. So I am cautiously optimistic about that as well. Honestly, I don't care that much about the soundtrack being lackluster, even if it stayed the way it is right now. Not a deal breaker for me. If I cared that much, I could just turn the volume down and put on The Offspring on Spotify, and I'm sure that would be just as good. But the one thing that did annoy me a little bit about the sound design was the interactions with the passengers themselves. Apart from the ones that had those special plot lines that you could pick up, the standard passenger has a couple lines to share with you, one of them about looking forward to retirement and living out the rest of their days in an old folks home. I think I picked up at least 10 people that shared those same sentiments with me and it started to get a little creepy. At a certain point, it started to just feel like an episode of The Twilight Zone or an inside joke that I wasn't clued in on and it just kind of made me uncomfortable. But I thought the voice acting in general was great. I especially loved the two drivers, Chloe and Vinny. I thought that the interactions that they had with customers actually told you a little bit about their backstories, so that was kind of neat. I also understand they're going to be adding more ambient city noises and things like that to the mix, so I think it's only going to get better from here. At the end of the day, I'm just really glad that there was enough demand that another taxi-style arcade game could be made in 2021. I'm also really glad that the developers are taking a lot of these suggestions and constructive criticism to heart and putting even more work into a game that's already a pretty fun experience. As much as I love the style of gameplay, I do wish that Taxi Chaos had a little bit more of its own identity or maybe was brought even more to the modern times. So for example, maybe make them rideshare drivers instead of taxi drivers or heck even food delivery drivers and have them rushing to their destination to get the food to the client before it gets cold. Just some thoughts. If you're not a fan of games like Crazy Taxi, I don't think this one's going to change your mind in any way, but if you are a fan of taxi-style arcade games, you're going to have some fun with this. Yeah, Park's noodles are the best noodles. Please hurry, they're already boiling. Oh yeah. Is this the fastest route? You know, it's faster if you go by Fifth Avenue. Hey, glad to hear you know this town better than the taxi driver. So do you think Taxi Chaos will be worth the fare? Let us know in the comments below. I also just wanted to take a quick moment to thank our indie warriors, Mitchell Hall, Kevalo, Bunny, Bill Tikaz, Christian Cruz, Wesley William Semple, and Kimberly H. Thank you so much for your support and thank you all so much for watching and supporting the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the description box for links to our Discord if you'd like to chat, as well as a bunch of other ways to support us and the membership link to become an indie warrior. Thank you again for watching and I will see you next time.